Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we're making these gorgeous sparkly bath salts. This is a really fun DIY gift idea if you have anyone on your list that loves taking baths or needs a little bit of relaxation and pampering. They're really fast and easy to make and I love how beautiful they turn out. So let's grab some supplies and get started. Now the first thing you're going to need is salt. I'll be using this coarse European spa salt. I love how the coarser texture looks in this bath salt. You can use um, a lot of different types of salts, sea salt, you don't wanna use iodized salt, but I'll put some different options below in the comments. Then you'll need a fragrance oil. I'll be using Meditation from Nurture Soap. It smells like sandalwood and Amber and vanilla and it's a really not too sweet but super relaxing fragrance. Then I've got some mica to give us a little bit of sparkle. This is Sparkle Plenty from Mad Oils, my favorite glitter to use in bath products. And then we have some flower petals that we'll be adding to our bath salt. The first flower petals I'll be using are these beautiful blue cornflower petals, and this is probably one of my favorite colors. Then I've got some really pretty calendula petals. And these are going to add just a really beautiful pop of yellow to our bath salts. And then I have some rose petals. These are just pink rose petals. And so all together we'll have pink and yellow and a really beautiful blue. And it'll give us just a really pretty bath salt. Then I have a spoon from my kitchen, some measuring spoons, and a one cup measuring cup and a half cup measuring cup. And of course we need something to mix everything in, so I have a bowl. Then you're going to need something to put your bath salts in. I found these cute little jars at Michael's. They came in a big huge pack and I used my 40% off coupon to get them. I'll put a link below if I can still find them. Uh, anything will really work, like a cellophane bag or a mason jar. I liked these because they were a really nice gift giving size and they held about a fourth a cup of the bath salts. Then I've got a cookie sheet, just a regular baking sheet, and some parchment paper. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is line our baking sheet. So I just took a piece of the parchment paper and I put it inside of our cookie sheet and we're gonna set that aside and we're going to measure out a cup and a half of our bath salts into our bowl. Now we'll be using two and a half cups total, but we're only measuring out one and a half cups right now. So I've got a cup and a half of my bath salts in the bowl, and then I'm going to add my fragrance oil. So I'll be using a half teaspoon of my fragrance oil. You can also use essential oils. I will put in the comments below um, how you'd wanna go about doing that. So I'll put instructions for the essential oils below, but I'm just using a half teaspoon of my fragrance oil, and I'm gonna stir that into my bath salts. And I just stir it around to get all of the yummy fragrance oil off of my measuring spoon. And then I grabbed my regular spoon and I'm going to use the back of the spoon to really stir and mix together my bath salts with the fragrance oil. We wanna make sure that we can get as many little pieces of the salt covered with the fragrance oil. And we just wanna evenly spread that fragrance oil through the bath salts. So once you've given it a good stir, we are going to grab our gorgeous Sparkle Plenty glitter. This stuff is awesome, a little goes a long way. I'm using my 1 4th teaspoon measurement and I'm putting two scoops in. So we're putting a total of 1 half teaspoon of our glitter into our bath salts. And you can see how just absolutely sparkly and fabulous this glitter is. It's also biodegradable, which is another nice bonus. Now, if you're not a glitter person, you don't have to add the glitter to the bath salts. I loved how it kind of gave this bath salt um, it almost looked like snow, just white and sparkly, and I thought it was just really pretty mixed in with the salts. So once again, the glitter is optional, totally up to you. You don't have to put it in if you don't want to. And then once we have that all stirred together, you can just see how pretty and sparkly this is. We're going to take the salts and we're going to pour them onto our cookie sheet scraping out all of that beautiful glitter and then just spreading it evenly on the cookie sheet. What we want to do is let our bath salts dry. If we were to package it up right now, it would um, kind of stick together and clump together a little bit. We wanna make sure that it dries before we do anything else with it. So spread that all out evenly and then let it sit for a few hours or even overnight. 
And once they're dry, take them off the baking sheet and put them back in the mixing bowl. Now we're going to stir in our last cup of the spa salt. So you remember in the beginning we only used a cup and a half of the salt. Now we're gonna add in that extra cup. So we have two and a half cups total. I find it easier to mix the fragrance oil and the glitter into a smaller amount of salt, which is why I just started with the cup and a half. And now we're just going to eat, stir in the rest of our salt. Give it a good stir, make sure it's all mixed together. And now it's time to add our flower petals. So we'll be using our cornflower petals, the calendula petals, and the rose petals. You can use a lot of different types of flower petals. You don't have to be limited to the ones I'm using in this tutorial. So you can see we just put in the cornflower petals, then the calendula, and then the rose petals. I loved these colors together, but you can also use lavender buds. You could use jasmine flowers. There are a lot of different options you have, and I'll put some other ideas in the comments below. So don't just be limited to what I'm using. Uh, depending on what fragrance oil you use, you might want to use different types of flower petals or leave them out entirely. I used one teaspoon of each type of flower petals for three teaspoons total. So now I'm just gonna give it a really good stir, make sure everything is mixed together really well and spread out all of those beautiful flower petals. And this is just such a sparkly, pretty, happy bath salt. And you wouldn't believe how far that little bit of glitter that we added will go. So if, once again, if you're not a glitter person, don't use the glitter, but if you are, it puts all of this gorgeous, sparkly glitter in your bathtub and just little flecks of it through the water. And now we're going to put it into our container. So I just grab my spoon, I grab my container, and I'm going to scoop some of that beautiful bath salt into my little jar. And I think these just turn out so darling. They look like they took a lot more time than they did. And they're just pretty and happy, and I can't imagine any bath lover out there not absolutely loving this as a gift. I decided to add, as a finishing touch, a little piece of twine and a little bit of greenery just right at the top. So I just tied a bow around the jar, and then I got this little sprig of Christmas pine sparkliness that I'm just cutting a little piece off, and I'm just going to tuck that right into the bow. And I just thought that added a little bit of fun, festive packaging to our beautiful bath salts. The last thing I'm going to do is grab a little sticker and put a label on our bath salts. So I just took this little, these little round stickers and I just wrote bath salts on it. And I'm just gonna put that right on the top of my little jar. Now, if you want, you can write out a more detailed label for your bath salts. You could also put the ingredients. Um, if this is something that you were selling, I would definitely say you'd want to label it with all of the different ingredients that are in it. You, an easy way to do a label is to even just put it on a little piece of paper and then use a piece of packing tape to tape that onto the side of the jar, which will keep it nice and waterproof. And that's it guys, you're all set. You have these gorgeous bath salts. I used these last night in the bathtub and they were really relaxing and I just felt totally pampered and it was just beautiful and sparkly and I loved the little flower petals floating around. If you have any comments or questions, post those below. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you want to be one of the first to find out when I come out with new tutorials, click on that little bell icon and you will be notified the second I come out with a new tutorial. Check out some of my other tutorials. I have a lot of fun things coming up for the holidays. I've got ornaments and other DIYs. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate your support and we'll see you next time.